doing the learn HTML forms by building a registration form and we're on step 11. So as suggested by the title, we're creating a form. So after the P element inserts a form element. So forms have their own um, element in HTML. So form, and we want to give this an action um, and that will equal this one here. So it's going to target this URL. And essentially that's where it's going to post to once we submit the form. Um, I believe that's correct. But anyway, we'll come up to that. So step 12, as the form have three distinct sections, add three field set elements within the form element. So we'll do field set like so, and we'll close that off. Um, and I just want to replicate that down three times. So for that, I'm holding um, the option or the alt key, um, depending if you're Windows or Mac, um, plus the shift and then pressing down. And that is on that line here. And if I do that again, it's just creating the same file uh, or the same element below that. Um, so there we go. And as you can see, we've got three field sets here. Cool, so that passes. So step 13, the first field set will hold name, email and password fields. So start by adding a label elements for your first field set. So we want, um, so I guess three labels like so. And again, I'm gonna do the alt or option key and shift. So hold those down and the on the line and then pressing the down arrow key. And there we go. We can see we've populated those now three times and what do we want? So we've got the um, yeah name. And actually, I don't know if it's actually asking for that. Let's just see if this will pass the tests. Oh, sorry, we need four um, label elements. I misread that. Let me go. Let's see. There we go. Cool. Uh, so step 14, add the following text to the label elements. So here is the first one and I'm just going to copy and paste these um, because yeah there's no point writing them out but there we go cool and now we're on step 15 the rem units stand for root m um, so it's relative to the font size of the html element and I believe it might be kind of by default and obviously you can set that as well on the html element you can set the font size um, and then rem will go or sort of be based off that. So as label elements are inline by default, we want to, um, uh, and as you can see here, they're all across one line, we want to make them block. So we can just target the labels and we do display block like so. And there you go, that puts them on one line. And then we just want to add a margin of 0.5 rem, that'd be top and bottom and zero left and right. And there you go, you see it bounces back. Um, so now there's 0.5 rem between each of them, um, but none to the left or right. So step 16, nest an input element within each label. Um, be sure to add input after the label text and include a space after the colon. So that's down here and we want to put an input element like so. And I think that might be self-closing. Um, so let me just try that for each of these. there and if not we can just refactor those yep okay so that's not self-closing I'm always forgetting which is and which aren't um, in terms of HTML but there we go that should be okay now <coughs> excuse me Um, okay, after the label text. So I wonder, oops, if actually it's label input and it's not meant to be nested. Um, so let's try that. And actually that looks a lot better. Uh, so I think that's right. No, should nest the input elements within the label elements. Um, yeah, which I am doing. Be sure to add input after the label text and include a space after the colon. So maybe there's not a space. I'm just going to undo each of those. And let's just try. 
try that perhaps. And let's check that code. Hmm, interesting. I'm um, just trying to figure out what the issue is here. Nest an input element within each label. So it's within the label. And input after the text. Be sure to include a space after the colon. I don't know if it needs to be a physical line here or just a space. Let's try that. Hmm. Uh, let me restart that lesson. That's strange. Um, let me just try that again. So then I'm doing a space after the label and also an extra line, if that will help. Interesting. Okay. Let me just restart 